Modern Swinging Door Standard Mulling. Refer to the written installation instructions for proper drill bit and fastener sizes used throughout this video. When a direct glaze, casement, or awning is the center mole unit, the aluminum mole pin will be factory applied to both sides of the window. When a swinging door is the center mole unit, the aluminum mole pins will be factory applied to the side of the windows. On door-to-door -door mole configurations, mole pins are shipped loose. If not done from the factory, remove all shim blocks and nail fin on the side of frames that will be mulled. If you're mulling to the in-swing hinge side, remove the two fasteners that attach the backer to the jam and the six fasteners that attach the hinge to the backer. Start with a flat and level opening. This will be helpful for larger multiple wide assemblies. For configurations where the first unit you install in an opening is a door, measure 5 and 3 16 inches away from the rough opening and install the sill support 3 and 5 16 inches from the exterior sheathing line. Position the first unit in the opening. Work from left to right as seen from the exterior. Shim and plumb the first jam on the desired vertical plane. Then fasten and shim along the jam with screws into the rough opening. Apply sealant to the door frame. Run the sealant continuously from the top to bottom. In some cases, foam blocks will be applied at the top and bottom. Slide the second frame into the first and if possible, clamp both side to side and in out to flush the frames. Fasten at the installation hole locations using the number 8 by 7 16 inch self-drilling fasteners. Install the exterior mole cap. Seat in place with a rubber mallet. If you're mulling doors with saddle sills, trim the exterior mole cap by one half inch. Repeat the previous steps until the assembly is complete. Make sure all the frames are aligned along the correct exterior plane. Fasten the head jams with number 10 by 3 inch T20 Torx pan head installation screws. Complete fastening around the perimeter at the remaining installation holes. Maintain a square and plumb installation and shim at every fastener location between the frame and the rough opening. On in-swing doors, install the jam weather strip. This will help you place the hinges correctly later. Using the hardware holes in the frame as a guide, drill holes into the aluminum mole pin. Start with a 764th inch centering bit first, and then follow up with the recommended drill bit. Install the appropriate trilobular fasteners to attach through the hardware and frame into the mole pen. Place the in-swing hinge against the jam weather strip, then pre-drill through all the holes. Fasten the hinge with trilobular screws provided. Outswing hinges are attached at the factory. Two of the holes are left open. Pre-drill and attach with trilobular screws. Pre-drill and fasten any remaining hardware components to the mole jam. Install the jam covers. Install the top and bottom covers. 
Install the interior mold cap anytime after assembly is complete. Seat in place with a rubber mallet. Install the mold pin. Clamp the mold pin to the side of the door, leaving a gap of about 5 16 inch at the top. Fasten at the installation hole locations using the number 8 by 7 16 inch self-drilling fasteners. With the first door installed, measure 4 and 7 16 inches from the jam of the first door. Make a mark and install the second sill support at this location, 3 and 5 16 inches from the exterior sheathing line. Slide the second frame into the first and if possible, clamp both side to side and in out to flush the frames. Then fasten the mole with appropriate fasteners at the installation holes. Pre-drill and fasten the hardware to the mole. Fasten the frames to the rough opening. Make sure the frames are level, plumb, and square. Use the techniques outlined in the previous sections to apply a horizontal mull. Install the lower units first. Then set the top unit above, being careful not to disturb the sealant bead until you have the assembly aligned correctly. Clamp and fasten the transom to the bottom unit through the installation holes on the bottom unit head jam. Pin the top corners and plumb the top frame to the correct plane. Then, shim and fasten at the remaining installation hole locations. Refer to the installation instructions sent with your window or door for other details and for integrating your assembly into the wall. Be sure to view other related videos at our YouTube channel or visit www.marvin.com.